Oh, hey, Miss Kenny. Oh, hey, Andy. How many books did you read in 2023? Uh, I read 38 books in 2023, not counting school books. That is a lot. What one would you recommend the most to students? Um, I think m my favorite one that I would recommend to pretty much anybody would be Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt. Uh, it was just, it was, had a little mystery, a little romance, and uh, a little family drama in it. It was good all around, and I was happy when I got done reading it. Oh, hey, Miss Popovich. Oh, Andy. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. All right, so if you were gonna write a book, what would you write it about? What I write it about? Hmm. Well, I think I'd want it to be a choose-your-own-adventure story, and um, probably something like a choose-your-own-adventure mystery, maybe. Um, my kids are always saying that I like murder books a lot, so. I think that would be fun, like where you kind of flip around like who could be the actual murderer. Kind of like the movie Clue, like where there's like various different endings. Oh, hey, Miss Wilson. Do you have time for a question? Oh, hey, Indiana. Sure. What's your question? So I was wondering, what's a movie that's nostalgic or like one of your favorite movies from when you were in high school that you would suggest to us kids? Oh, gosh. I grew up during a really good era for film. So I would recommend kids watch like the original Footloose, the original um, Karate Kid, um, all the John Hughes movies like Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, uh, the first Top Gun, if you haven't seen that, it's my all-time fave. Oh hey Miss Kish. Oh hey. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. Yeah, I got time. Alright, so my first question is, what is your favorite thing in the English curriculum to teach students? Oh. Favorite thing, that's tough. I like pretty much everything I get to teach. I love all the stories and books I get to teach. I feel very lucky. I would have seen my two favorite, my top two are The Great Gatsby and To Kill a Mockingbird. I might have actually named my cats after two characters from To Kill a Mockingbird. That's how much I love it. Um, I just think those books are full of rich themes um, uh, and lead to great discussions with my students. Um, and we always have a great time just applying those ideas to the real world. Um, so I love those books. What would you do with $100? I'll give it away. Oh, 
No, you would not. <laughs> yes, I would. I would give it away. What would you do with a hundred dollars? A hundred. Ah, buy a lot of V bucks. What you doing with a hundred dollars? Um, what am I? I'm gonna give me some new glasses, and then I'm gonna go get my nails done. <laughs> Start to go for me. Start to go for me. It's serious. Get it critical. What would you do with $100? I'll buy a... I'll go to Sagano's. I ain't gonna lie. Get extra noodles. Oh, um, bro, I'll go to Sagano's. <laughs> yum yum sauce or no? Yum yum sauce. Double yum yum. W take. What would you do with $100? Um, um, buy V-Bucks. <laughs> What do you do with a hundred dollars? What I do with a hundred dollars? What can you do with a hundred dollars? What would you say? <laughs> what would I do with a hundred dollars? Man, I probably just like go to the mall. It's nothing you can do with a hundred dollars. You can invest in the stock market. Yeah. What would you do with a hundred dollars? I'll probably go to Kohl's and buy me two Nike hoodies. I would invest in financial literacy is important. What I would do with hundred dollars? I would start off by buying a piece of plastic, right? The plastic is gonna turn into something else. Then we're gonna make a business. The business is gonna turn into a hundred million dollar corporation. Then the corporation is gonna turn me into a wealthy man. And I'm gonna be up there with Bill Gates and uh, Bro, what's his name? What's his name? All right. What would you do with hundred dollars? All right. With the hundred dollars, I would buy me shoes. What, what, what kind of shoes are you gonna buy with hundred dollars? Boy, it sure is cold out here these days. I wish there was a teacher at Grand Blanc High School who studied the weather consistently and was basically a meteorologist who could tell us if we were gonna get a snow day next week. Oh wait, we have one of those. One, two, three, uh. All right, so we're looking at really cold temperatures on both Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's see our chances of getting a cold day. For Tuesday at 7 a.m., bus time for the little kids. The GFS model, three degrees. That's not hitting our negative 20. The Euro, negative 11. We're getting a little bit closer. Two more to look at. The Icon, oh, coming in at negative 19. And the Canadian model, just negative four. So what's our overall chances for Tuesday being a cold day? We're going to put it at 25%. There's still a chance. Looking at Wednesday, 7 a.m., the GFS coming in at negative 19, right at that mark. The Euro, not so much, just the negative 11 here. The two money ones for our prediction. The Icon at negative 21 and the Canadian model at negative 24. So where are we going with Wednesday? We're gonna only put it at 50%. Why? Two things. One, this is really far out and it's gonna change a lot before we get there. And that's our first exam day. Are we really gonna cancel school on exam day? I guess we'll find out. Hi, I'm Mr. N and I teach GBTV2. GBTV2 is advanced broadcasting class that you take after you take broadcasting one or marketing one. But if you have taken either one of those classes and you want to work in a project-based cool environment, fill out our application here. In this class, you'll do a lot of different things than you'll do in your normal class. Everything's project-based and everything that you do will be outside of your chair, except for editing because that's what we do, we add it in the chair. Once you have taken the time to carefully complete this application, bring it to Mr. Nicholson by Friday, February 16th. Go blue. Go blue. Go blue! Go blue. Go blue. Let's go blue. Go blue! Donovan Edwards rotates in at the back. He's got the football. Bumps into traffic and escapes. Donovan Edwards racing to the end zone. 
Michigan flexing immediately. Kevin Edwards, who scored the touchdown in the first possession, back in the game, and he's loose again. Edwards off and running. Wolverines loaded with weapons in the run game. They go after their thousand-yard rusher, and now it's Corum is loose. Blake Corum down the sidelines. They got an angle. He cuts it back and finally is brought down at the 20. McCarthy pulls it and finds Loveland over the middle. And the tight end galloping deep in Narski territory. It's a very crafty play calls down here. Instead, they just hand it this time to Flora. Steps back, breaks the tackle. Touchdown, Michigan. Penix looks the other direction down the scene. It's intercepted by Sandra Still. Mikey Sandra Still has a couple of blockers. A convoy. Michigan. Set up inside the turn. He's got it. Michigan barrels in. And the maze in blue. On the brink of ending a championship drought. Does is tainted. That's up to you to decide, but hail, hail, Michigan. They are the champions of college football. We have a thing in our family that we'll use for a long time. And it goes like this. Who's better, better than us? Nobody! I'm Maddie, and today I'm here with your student government president, Isaiah Grays. And today we'll be talking about the upcoming dance. On February the 10th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the Tar Tony Gym. I'm so excited. Tickets will be starting to be sold on January 16th, so make sure to stay tuned for ticket pricing and more information on that as well. On January 16th, student government leadership is going to have a table during lunches where you can sign up on the Sign Up Genius and help us decorate the dance. Show up to turn up, Bobcats. We hope to see you there. Will you be there? Absolutely. All right, man, I'll see you Monday. All right. Wait, we don't got school Monday. Okay, okay, it's just MLK Day. Come on, it's not just another Monday. Let's do something with this, make it different. Focus, focus, focus. Get outside, do an act of service somebody. Sell some driveways, just do something. And yeah, 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 I'm that guy telling you to do something on your day off. But really, try it. It'll make somebody else's day, and it'll make yours too. Let's make MLK's dream reality. Wait for your hand like this.